Well, as you well know, you can build a lot of things with Legos, including, it turns out, self-esteem and a new vision for your own future. A group of kids from Haiti just had the experience of their lives thanks to a Fort Lauderdale man who helped raise $40,000 to connect them to technology. Ari Anter has the story. We're in Melbourne, Florida, last Sunday, the state finals of what's called the first Lego League Robotics Tournament. 48 teams from Florida, one from Haiti. It was amazing. It was amazing. You saw it, children cheering and jumping and clapping and yelling at the top of their lungs for, for engineering and science and mathematics, for something that's based on education. You know, we don't see that a lot. So how did this happen? How did a group of kids from Cap Haitian get involved in the Lego competition? Well, that guy got it rolling after an engineering buddy at Motorola suggested it. I realized it was something we had to do. We had to involve Haiti in this competition. Mark Mormon takes a lot of charity trips to Haiti. He recruited a Haitian businessman, Ken Viljean, who ended up winning Coach of the Year honors, to round up a team of bright kids. And with help from Carol's Jewelers, American Airlines, the Rotary Club, and his own pocket, the mission was on. I myself uh, pretty much put in my whole life savings. I put everything I had in my account. I've got about $400 left in my account from everything I put into this project. But after Sunday, I would have put in twice that. I would have put in everything. The Lego League teaches kids from 9 to 14 lessons about science and teamwork. The kids design and build their robots, which all have to complete the same tasks. The team called Citadel took a side trip to the Kennedy Space Center, icing on the cake. Several of them told me that it has changed their lives. Several of them said that this is something they now want to go into. They want to learn more about computers. They want to learn more about engineering. They want to learn more about math and science. And in this field of technology, we wanted to inspire the Haitians to dream of greater and bigger things. Mission completion. In Melbourne, Ari Odzer, NBC6.